So I hope the lighting is okay. I wanted to hurry up and shoot this video because um, I know I kept saying on my Facebook page, posted, okay, I'm going to do a review. I'm going to do a review. I'm going to do a review. I'm going to do a review on these. Um, ooh, that's a pen. These new jumbo eyeshadow sticks from e.l.f. And here it is. I'm finally doing my review on these. So I have my notepad here because I wanted to make sure that I talked about each one and the difference in some of them and all that good stuff. So there are 10 shades in total and I have all of them. And you might be saying, oh well, mm. The only reason I got all of them is because they had a half off sale. I got them for a dollar each, so 10 bucks for all of these. I'd say that's a pretty good deal. You can find these on the e.l.f. website. I will leave the link down below. So there's 10 shades all together here. And they come in a whole bunch of different colors. Okay, so I'm going to read off the back. They come in these little packagings like this. So I'm just going to tell you what these are supposed to do. It's a creamy and pigmented rich eye color. Perfect for creating a natural smoky eyeshadow look. Blah, blah, blah. It has vitamin E um, to condition around the eye area. And great for on the go. And all that really great stuff. So... Basically, it's kind of like the NYX, and I, I, I'm mad at myself because I just went to Ulta, and I should have picked up one of their eyeshadow sticks, so that way I could compare. Similar to those, and I mean, a lot of people have come out with different ones. So, they come in a little tube like this, and very similar to the um, Jumbo Lip Gloss sticks. So, pretty much the same thing. One thing I do not like about these, I will just point out right away, I don't like because I have all of the jumbo lip gloss sticks and all the eyeshadow sticks. I have a hard time. I have to keep them separate because they look identical. The packaging is identical. And the only way I can know is if I have to read it and be like, okay, this is a lip gloss stick and this is the eyeshadow stick. So I wish they would have used a different color packaging. That way you can establish um, which is an eyeshadow stick and which is not in the nude and this is a lip gloss stick and then if you take French lace one which this is the eyeshadow stick in French lace you can see they're both very very similar and a lot of times I get these mixed up so that's one thing I do not like I mean you can see they're very very similar so that is one downside so they come in these little tubes like I said just like the just like the lip ones you twist up from the bottom and this is how much product you get pretty much the same thing like the jumbo lip gloss sticks and if you want I'll put my review on those down below so you can check that out and by the way these are two dollars each so they're from the essential line and they are very affordable oh another tip is you can take the cap off put it on the back and you can twist it up you know it's like an eyeshadow stick you you know put it all over your eyes and you're supposed to be you know smooth and they claim to you know not crease and all that good stuff so the consistency of these are they're kind of on the dry side. Some of them are more creamier than others, I find. So I'm going to start off with the first shade. And this is in French Lace. And it looks like this. A very light, light color. Very soft. Um, by the way, I will do swatches and put them at the end of this video. So you can see a little bit better. And it's just a very light, shimmery color. Um, there is some sparkles in this one, and I'll explain each shade, because certain ones are shimmery, certain ones are not, and certain ones are metallic. So this one is definitely a little bit, it's creamy, but it has a little bit of silver sparkles, if you can see right there. The next shade I'm going to show you, Little Miss Thing. And this is pretty similar to the other one. Um, it's just a little bit darker and this one definitely has a metallic look to it um, it's like a light champagne color um, there is no chunky glitter in it because like the first one I showed you it had a little bit of glitter in it. this one doesn't have any no glitter at all it's very creamy and I have to say the ones that don't have glitter in them tend to be a little bit more creamier so that's this one right here this one you can see has a little bit more of a pink to it. This one's more of like a golden champagne color. Really, really pretty. The next one is called Rock On. I really like the names of these. 
really, really nice. And this one looks like this. And this one is very, very metallic looking. And definitely when you put it on, this is like a light olive silver color. And there is no chunky glitter. It does have that little bit of a metallic kind of reflective look. If I go like this, see that? Very metallic-y looking. Turkish coffee. I like the name of that. I like anything that's called coffee. Really pretty brown color. This one definitely has another metallic look to it. It's like a light golden coffee brown. And there is no chunky glitter in it. So, this one's just very nice. Um, it does have a little bit of a sheen to it. Not as much as the Rock Out one. But it definitely is a very pretty brown color. Really nice. And the next one is called Feeling Lucky. I'm feeling lucky. This one is more of a solid color. Um, not as much metallic as the other ones. It's really a dark, rich brown. There's no shimmer. There's no glitter in it. It's more of a solid looking color compared to the other ones. So here's that one right here. Very beautiful, rich color. You can see that right there. Um, this one is called Check Me Out. I'm a checking you out. And this one is the only one that is purple, sort of the purple family. I was actually disappointed with this one because I thought it was going to be like this bold purple color, but when I applied it to my eyelid, um, it just, it didn't give me the color payoff I was looking for. It kind of looked like I have a, I had a bruised eye. This one definitely is kind of like metallic looking. It does have some glitter in it. But it is, it is a pretty color when you look at it in the tube and when you swatch. So there's that pretty purple color there. So the next one is called Bally Bound. And this one's a really beautiful green color. And this one's very metallic-y. Looks like this. Just gorgeous, gorgeous green color. Um, this is probably one of my favorite colors out of all of them. It's like a forest green. There's no glitter. Again, this is more like a metallic type color. So that's that right there. You can see just how it has that shine to it. Even more than the purple one. So that one's really, 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 really pretty. And the next one, this one is called Like a Boss. Interesting name. And this one here, I will go ahead and point it out. This is the only solid color. There is no shimmer. There is no metallic. It's just completely a concentrated solid color. This is the only one and this one again is called Like a Boss. And this is a very rich deep deep blue color. Very dark. And it's just, it's really really pretty. Very pigmented. And this one I can say feels like the creamiest out of all of them. I mean it's very very pigmented. So there's that beautiful blue. Just so you can see all the colors. And we have Forest Nymph. And that's that one. And now this one is really pretty. It's like a metallic brown olive color. Somewhere in that family. Now this one kind of has, it does have glitter in it. This one does have glitter in it. And it has sort of a confetti type of glitter. So it does have glitter in it. Forest Nymph. So you can see how some of them have a metallic finish, some of them look a little sparkly, and that blue one stands out so much because it's definitely a solid, solid color, you can tell. So last but not least, we have Midnight Rendevious. And this one is the darkest one out of all of them. This is like a black. This is pretty much like a black color. This one again does have glitter in it and it has sort of like a confetti type glitter. Um, I don't think this one is very pigmented. If you want to get into like, okay, is this really going to be black, black, black? It's when you put it on the eyelid, it looks more like a dark gray. It's not as black as I was hoping it to be. A soft black. So my final review on these, I think for a great affordable eyeshadow stick, I think these are, you know, they're really, really nice. They're only $2 each. And 
I unfortunately have to say I'm not crazy about these. I was actually really, really, really disappointed. Um, I find them to be very, very heavy on the lid. When you do wear these, you can feel that you're wearing it. Very thick product. One thing I do not like is the smell. They have a very strong, like, ugh. Oh, the smell kind of bothers me. I don't know what it is. It smells like an actual crayon, which kind of worries me. <laughs> um, I know that these are not actual crayons, but the smell reminds me of like crayons or Play-Doh. I mean, maybe some of you guys will absolutely love these. I'm not saying that's a horrible product, but I'm saying I'm just not that crazy about them. I would definitely recommend you apply a primer before you apply these. Blend it out the best you can in layers. Don't just like, okay, put it on and just leave it. I found it to be very, very creasing. Even when I applied a shadow over top to set it, it just felt so heavy. I've tried so many different ways. I've tried it without base. I've tried it with a primer, without a primer. I've tried it um, very thin application, blending it out very, very well on the eyelid, and then applying a eyeshadow that matches over top. And, you know, a couple hours later, I'll check my makeup, and I've got a huge, huge crease right in the middle. Maybe it's just me. I'm not saying to not go buy it, but this is just my opinion and my experience with all of these colors. But they're so pretty. I mean, you have a beautiful range of colors. I really like French lace to put in the inner corner of the eye, and that seems to work pretty nice. Even when I applied them to the lower lash line, it would fade. The color would fade very quickly. It would smudge very easily and it would rub off or get into my tear duct area so I don't know this is sort of a love and a hate because I love that it's convenient it's in a stick you can put it in your purse to go you know I love their cream eyeshadows that come in little containers I love those those are amazing they do not crease and they're just fabulous I am still glad that I have them because they are fun I definitely think if you are into like for instance, for Halloween, I did sort of this like peacock look. I did use some of them in the feathering, like some of the different colors to like fill it in. It was really easy to do that. So if you're into doing like really dramatic makeup looks, I think these are great for like on the face. If you're doing like something for Halloween, I think these are absolutely great. As an everyday product, I don't think it's something that I would, I would use. But I still love Elf and I still think that these are great they're so affordable these don't crease on you and you love them that's great i'm glad you can use them and that's fantastic but unfortunately for me they did not work all right guys so that was my review on the elf jumbo eyeshadow sticks i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video um if you haven't subscribed to my channel please click the subscribe button up atop um, I would appreciate that so you can keep date with all my new videos and all that great stuff. Pretty soon I'm going to be having um, sort of a do-it-yourself videos coming up. I'm really, really excited about that. So that's just a sneak little info. Check out my Facebook page. Follow me on Twitter. I'll leave those links down below. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Remember, smarter beauty is better beauty. Bye!